education system fails boys very badly. All the latest stats, I've just finished listening listen to a book called A Boys and Men by Richard Reeves and it talks about how far behind boys are in the education. Less and less boys finishing high school, going on to university later. The whole system is designed for a more feminine viewpoint. You know, somebody who's good with, with English and who's good with words and those kind of things. And it doesn't suit so many boys who actually are better with, with doing practical stuff. What we, what we need is an education system that actually says there's, there's more than one way in life. Yes, you can go on, you can be trained, become a doctor or a lawyer, but there's many other great opportunities out there to become, become a tradie, to, be, to go into business. And the people who are good at that, like Dan Carl, are not necessarily good in school. We lose so much of the potential of our younger generation when we ignore their abilities and ignore what they're good at, and we try and put them into one area. Not enough male teachers too, that's one thing too, not enough role models, less and less teachers are men, particularly in primary school but also in secondary. And that's sad because we do know that boys who are taught by male teachers have a better outcome, they have less discipline problems, they're more likely to go ahead and succeed in life. So it's really, really important that more boys. There's a lot of emphasis these days on recruiting girls to STEM, science and technology, which is fantastic, which is great, and the gap is narrowing. But we also need to recognise that boys have different needs. We need more, more boys as teachers, more boys going into education. We also need more recognition that there are other valued pathways, like the trades. We have a prejudice against people who get their hands dirty in jobs. Society needs such people. There's a lot of great young kids who could do so well with the right encouragement and the right possibilities. There's so much effort going into helping girls, which is great, and I thoroughly approve of that but I do think half the population is male and males are doing very badly. Less and less males, males have got so many problems, psychologically speaking, they've got problems with addiction, they've got problems with alcohol, they've got so many other issues, and a lot of that's because there's no direction, there's no approved way of moving forward in society, using the very special skills that boys have that, that, that girls sometimes don't. Let, let's, let's make use of all of our population, not just half. Let's, make, let's give everybody a fair go. Boys could be maybe better if they were, they were held back a year. If they were a little bit older, more, um, more, take, more able to take on education, we need more technical training. We need more influence in the schools um, about doing things, giving, giving at least an option for boys who are more minded to do things. And we definitely need more male teachers. There's a lot more to be done with that. And things like um, teaching um, apprentices, where people can go in and start earning money as a assistant teacher and learn it on the job while getting paid. Those kinds of opportunities, we need more. It'd be great to see more tradies going to education too. I'd like to see people who've been, been lawn main contractors and plumbers and electrician actually being retrained as teachers and going in and giving kids a real effective role model for a different way of life. It's bad that we just pay too much emphasis on universities. That's the only way ahead in life. In fact, you can make a very, our average franchisee, average gyms franchisee, makes well over the Australian average wage. Why do we not consider that kind of future something that's worth hanging on to? Not only is it good money, but it's also flexible lifestyle. It means the kind of thing where you can actually, a man can take his son to school and pick him up, for, or his children to school, pick them up, as I do with my son, which is great. Have time for your children because you've got a flexible lifestyle. There's many, many advantages to the trades and we don't, we don't give enough stress to how good they can be. I think start working part-time job, I think is great too. I think we discourage that too much. There's too much emphasis on, on, um, on just, just focused on your studies. But I reckon, I reckon working part-time is very, very good for kids, especially those who are not so academically minded. Encourage them to get a job. I actually had a, I was actually gardening through most of my school career. It was really good. It was, it was a good preparation for life as it turned out.